There is a tiny organism living in your gut that decides whether you burn fat or store fat. Scientists have found this bacteria in higher quantity in people who stay slim all the time even without controlling their diet. And most overweight people have very less amount of this bacteria. So today I'm going to share with you the science behind this important bacteria that might be the reason you are unable to lose weight even though you might have tried extreme diets or workout regimens. And more importantly, I'm going to share with you natural ways of improving this bacteria in your body so finally you can achieve the weight loss that you want. Hi, I'm Dr. Anshul Gupta, a former Cleveland Clinic functional medicine physician from US. I help people with chronic diseases by making personalized functional medicine plans for them. You have been told that weight loss is about calorie in and calorie out. But here's the bitter truth. Two people can eat the same meals, can do the same workout, but will have different results of weight loss completely. And you might have been wondering why. Well, scientists have finally found the answer. The answer lies in this one particular bacteria called Acromensia, which lives in your gut. Researchers at Harvard and other universities have discovered that Acromensia can decide whether a person can lose weight or gain more weight. Studies show that people who have higher amount of Acromensia in their gut tend to have lower body fat percentage, they have better sugar controls and they have less sugar cravings. A study concluded in more than 10,000 individuals concluded that people who have higher amount of acromensia in their gut have lesser chances of obesity even though they are eating the same food and doing the same workouts and that's the reason scientific community is calling it as a skinny bacteria and the biggest breakthrough is that now scientists have finally figured out how to increase the number of this bacteria naturally by using certain kinds of food and doing certain things so today i'm going to share with you exactly how to increase this bacteria so you can easily lose weight but first let me share with you the science behind how this bacteria helps you to lose weight. So this Acromensia bacteria is a part of the microbiome of trillions of bacteria that lives in the gut. But this bacteria influences several metabolic pathways in your body. This bacteria produces a protein called P9. This increases the GLP-1 production in your body. This is the same GLP-1 molecule that the medicine Ozempic increases to achieve the weight loss. And this bacteria does it naturally naturally in your body by producing the P9 protein. The second way it works is by reducing inflammation in your gut by improving the gut lining and fixing the leaky gut which affects the metabolism of your body. And plus this Acromensia bacteria feeds on the mucus in the gut and converts it into something called short chain fatty acids which are the compounds which again helps to boost the fat metabolism in our body. So basically the more Acromensia bacteria is present in your gut gut, your body is able to handle your food better and it reduces the insulin spike improves insulin sensitivity and also helps your body in fat metabolism and also melting the fat that your body is already storing. Now for years scientists have already known about this Acromensia bacteria and its influence on the body's metabolism. But the real problem is that this bacteria is very different from other trillions of bacteria that lives in your gut that it cannot survive in the oxygen rich environment. So it was very difficult to create a specific probiotic supplement for this bacteria. Now obviously with the new technology people have created the Acromensia supplement but better than that we have natural ways of boosting the growth of this bacteria in your gut. But before I share with you the natural ways most people will ask this question how do I know if I have low levels of Acromensia? Unfortunately the regular labs cannot check the levels of Acromensia. You have to do advanced gut analysis like GI maps to check your Acromensia level. But but for most people, the protocol I am going to share with you will help you in increasing the acromensia naturally and will not harm your body anyways. So here are the four foods that your acromensia loves. 
The first food over here is dark chocolate. At least 70% dark chocolate is what I am talking about because it is rich in polyphenols which increases the acromantia bacteria as it feeds on these polyphenols. The second food is green tea especially matcha tea. The reason being they are very high in catechins. These catechins are again polyphenols and antioxidant compounds which again helps in flourishing of acromantia in your gut. The third one is pomegranate. Pomegranate is high in something called allergy tannins. These are the compounds which have again shown that they can boost the acromantia levels in your gut. The fourth food over here are blueberries. Blueberries again are very high in polyphenol compounds which again helps in the growth of acromantia in your gut. These are the four foods which increases the acromantia but simultaneously you need to stop doing these four things that kill acromantia in your gut. The first thing you need to do is that you need to stop eating processed foods because they kill your acromantia directly. The second thing is chronic stress. Too much exposure to chronic stress and higher cortisol levels in your body is very harmful for acromantia acromantia bacteria and reduces its quality. The third is poor sleep. So make sure you're getting eight to nine hours of good quality sleep. And the fourth one is antibiotics. The antibiotics will wipe out all the good microbiome including acromantia. Obviously if there is life threatening situation and you need the antibiotics then yes you go ahead and do it. But try to stay away from regular use of antibiotics. So now let me share with you this 30 day acromantia reset plan for you. So from week one to two, you stop eating any kind of processed food. You add one cup of green tea, specifically matcha tea if you can do that. And then you start eating pomegranate in your daily routine. Most of the people will do pomegranate juices. Lot of those juices are added with sugars. We do not want that. So if you can eat fresh pomegranate, that will be my choice. But if that is not available, then only a small short glass of pomegranate juice without any sugar is what you will consume. Then from week three to week four, I would like you to start working on stress management strategies by doing some meditation and deep breathing exercises on the regular basis. Plus, start adding blueberries in your regular regimen. Even frozen blueberries works over here. Just half a cup of blueberries is more than enough to do it. And then you can consume one small square of dark chocolate which has more than 70% cacao into it. So try this for 30 days to get an acromantia boost. Obviously, that also means that if you're trying to lose weight, combine this with anti-inflammatory diet and also start doing 20 to 30 minutes of workout on the daily basis. So now you know the secret bacteria which might be the key of losing sustainable weight in your body. So start implementing it today itself combining with other healthy lifestyle choices and see what benefit you get in terms of weight loss. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe to my channel as well as share this video with others who can benefit from this great information. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.